good peoples. Hey, I wanted to show y'all my trophy case. You know, a little something, something, a little something, something throughout the years that I've been competing. So I'm gonna I'm probably show y'all about five trophies in particular that's important to me. So we got here, it's like number one to me. This is uh, Junior USA's overall. So that was um, 2018 I turned pro at uh, Junior USA's. So this trophy here is where it all started, started from, from the pro league. And what do you know? Top pro, top dog. So I got these next two. This is from Wasatch Warrior. These hammers are heavy. They got some, they got some weight to them. So, you know, I was going through the airport with them on my shoulder or whatever. And then, you know, we can't, can't go nowhere with that. That's a weapon. But this is important to me. Also because I won, won that show two times. I've done the show three times. I think George Brown beat me that first time. That shit ain't gonna happen no more. <laughs> so this the other trophy here. Um, another important trophy to me is this Bogota Columbia trophy. You can see the handle broke. I leave it just as is. That's because I'm too, too lazy. But anyway, it broke in the airport. I just left it alone. But this one is always important. That's an important uh, trophy to me because this isn't, it was my first show in an entire, entirely different country. Um, I don't know how to speak a lick of English, but I had one of the fans. He sit up there and interpreted everything for me. So I appreciate that guy big time. So that's important. Um, another trophy, a medal. Pittsburgh, that was my first pre uh, prestigious show. That one always gonna be special. Matter of fact, I won that one this past May. So that was a good one, that was a good one. Oh, we got, you can't forget, we can't forget. We got the checks, checks. We got a checks, we collecting. I gotta frame these though, but yeah, you see that. You know, you winning shows. Mm, the metal's good, the metals are good, but where the, where, the, where the paper at? That's the paper. So I gotta get those framed. Oh, we got some Olympia medals. I gotta make that big metal. I gotta bring that big crystal glass. I gotta sit this thing. Now nah, that, look, I'll get another trophy case for that because I'm gonna need one anyway, so. This is another trophy. This is from uh, Muscle Mania. So this is like the very first trophy I actually won in 2016, Muscle Mania. So I gave it maybe like a year and a half. I ended up, I ended up turning pro. Yeah, I turned pro in Miami. And uh, I didn't even do a pro show. So that's the case. But um, this trophy here is super important because this is actually my very first uh, pro win. This is a 2019 mile high. So this was the year when they were um, doing points. So even though I won this show, I didn't get to Olympia. I think I had to do three more shows. I did a total of seven shows to get to Olympia in 2019. And uh, the last show was um, Tampa, Tampa Pro. I didn't win it, but I took fourth place and that was enough points to get me into Olympia, uh, my very first Olympia. So this is always gonna be something special to me. All of them got a place. You know, but that one, that's that one. That's that one that kickstarted everything. Oh, we got some, how can I forget? Amateur, amateur trophies. Um, third place, this was my first national show, um, junior nationals. I took third place. I think I came back a few months later and I went to, probably not even a few months later, I went to, uh, North Americans and I took fourth. I went one spot back. But of course, you know, the next year, 2018, I had to clean it up. I had to shut it down, all the way down. That's when they knew it was about to be a problem and I was about to cause it. So that's what it is. I gotta glue his feet too. My man then got toe up, man. He then got toe up. He a little boxy too. Gotta get that taper together. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's what it is. This is another good one too. I like Charlotte. Charlotte hooked it up. Gave me, I don't care, this is a tiara. This is a tiara. This is not a, they say this is a crown. This is a tiara. I don't care what y'all say. This, uh, this Wasatch belt, but this is the Charlotte trophy. Crown. And you know they have to get a check. I always wanted one of these big checks. I don't know why. It's just, you know, you just want to, Grab it. Look, you grab one of these after the show, 
Look, everybody know you want something. I don't care. I think that's why. You carrying this shit with a trophy? They're like, yeah, he won first place. Yeah, he won. He won. He won first place. So, yeah, I had to get one of these. So, I like when they get these. This shit is crazy to carry in the airport, though. Yeah, I don't like it. But it's cool. But, yeah, that's what it is, man. We got my badges here. Also, Olympia badges. Look at that. We just collecting. I don't know where my other one. Oh. I'm talking about the other one. I do that one this year, I forgot. <laughs> so y'all always wonder what I'm wearing and stuff. You, you see it, it's always fresh. I got, a, I got the kicks, gotta match the kicks with it or whatever, but this, uh, the iron wheel, it been out about a little over two years. Um, I didn't wear their clothes even before I got sponsored by this company. Um, it's, it's just my style. So, hey, they didn't reached out to me. It's like, hey, we want you to wear, your clo wear these clothes. I'm like, Hell yeah, I'ma wear these clothes. So, but hey, if you want you want to look fly or whatever, just go on to uh, the ironwheel.com. Don't forget to use that code Delkin. It's gonna get you 10% off. But hey, you gotta check them out though. Too fly, smooth. I train like about 3:30 in that in the afternoon. So some days I wake up um, late. It might be 8:30, 9 o'clock. So, but I like to get about three meals in so this is my third meal i'll be trying to get this mug in so it's 280 grams of um jasmine rice and six ounces of bison it's like my favorite meal actually but but cramming it in an hour before training i gotta get it because we got back today and it's heavy so i need this i need these 280 grams of carbs with this protein so I'm not a person that uses pre-workout. I don't use a lot of it. I'm talking about in a year, I probably touch pre-workout twice. <laughs> but um, usually, you know, the companies, when I, I use it, it got to be like a no stem. I like no stem. I can't be jittery. I like the feel of the workout. But if, you know, when I did work a job job, and you know it was like 12 hours long sometimes i need that pre-workout so i might use a scoop or something like that but i'm a person that never buy no pre-workout because it'll go bad i just like never done it or whatever never drunk a lot of coffee if i'm tired i just try to fight through it if i'm super tired that's when i add it in but i don't like that jittery feel you know i'm super sensitive to that stuff so I try to stay away from it. I try to use the food to give me some, some energy. That's why I be trying to get these meals in, get these carbs in. 280 grams of rice. No matter how much I, I take bites, this rice still sitting up here like a mountain. Show me some. I didn't, I didn't took like five spoons off of here. It just, it just not put a dent in it. Look. Money and stuff, like how does these sponsorships work? Y'all be really paying y'all? It depends on who you are. That's like anything. So if you're a top athlete, I think you should be getting paid your worth or whatever. Um, also, it includes, you know, people got to look at this. If you have a, a large following and they engaged, because a large people can have large following and and pay for their followers or whatever. But I, so I'm talking about real followers that in, it really engage with you and pay attention to what you uh, what you say and what you take. So that's what the fitness part of the fitness industry is about. So with me, I'm always getting people asking, "Hey, what you take for this? What do you do for this?" So. Uh, Supplement companies and stuff, yeah, they want to they want a part of that because I get so many eyeballs to, to look at my page and pay attention to what I'm doing. So it definitely could be lucrative, um, but it's up to you what you make um, because you got to know your worth. That's like anything. And you just got to go out there and set yourself apart. I was one of them guys that um, messaged companies like, hey, I want to do this and I want to get on and I'll, and they'll probably shoot me a message and offer me an what they call it ambassador program <laughs> give you some free protein shakes some pre-workout 
Get your discount code, tell you post. I'm like, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about making some money on a monthly basis, some good money on a monthly basis. Um, of course, you got to post and do what they want you to do, but uh, I'm talking about a check, some residual income or something like that. That's what I'm talking about. Not no little monthly stipend and stuff. That don't get me nowhere. Too grown for that, but uh, that takes work. That takes a lot of work. And that take me some years to get where I'm at. So people that's trying to do that, you know, just uh, make sure you do what you got to do. And you and make sure when you do get with these companies, you actually like the brand because it's, uh, it's hard to rep something you don't really like. That's like being in a relationship that you don't really want to be in. <laughs> that's horrible. You got a lot of people like that that's in relationships they don't want to be in. So don't get with one of these companies and you don't really like none of that shit because it's going to be hard to sell and hard to push on other people or whatever. I got companies and most and all the companies I work with, I like it. It's super easy. So that's the key. It don't really feel like work. You know, that's all. It don't feel like work. Only work for me is actually, all right, let me post this. <laughs> that's it. But OK, hey, that's what that's what you got to do. Put yourself out there. And always remember, if you are on social media, people are always watching. And that can mean a potential sponsor. So you got to watch how you handle yourself. And you got to work on branding yourself right. So as long as you're doing those things and being, being yourself, it'll work out. Because that's all I did. And I already had a goal and what I wanted to do. But also, people like winners. You win. That's going to attract most of it right there. So that's the key when yeah when that's 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 like most of it yeah that's like most of it winning you could be the quietest soul if you winning they gonna be like me just sitting over there winning shit. let me go let me go give him some money <laughs> but no uh, that's it i'm finna stuff in my mouth with this damn chicken well not chicken uh beef. we're not beef either Bro. this is bison bison <laughs> This is premium. <laughs> this is 10% fat. This costs $15 a pound, too. So this is definitely not beef. Beef costs, though. Beef costs, especially the lean beef, that 96. But this is very lean. And it tastes a little bit better. A little bit better. It don't taste rubber. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That's, that's, that's um, the cook era. Mm-mm. This right here, I cook this shit right. Cook this right. I just got a boatload of rice in it. That's all. I cooked it right. That's like. Right. Mm. I eat bison like four times all the day if I could, but I can't get that much fat. But if I could, mm. but I gotta hurry up and eat this because this guy's digesting like. 45 minutes. Because we doing back today. And this shit gonna be good. Shit gonna be good. There's a pro. is do international shows. That's the main thing. So, like I said, Olympia happen. Kill a fucking... Kill Olympia. That's, that's gonna happen. They got Seoul, Korea. I think that's on the 11th of November. Mm, might pull up. They got Japan next year. I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about going over there, but shit, it could be Mexico. It could be back to uh, Colombia, uh, Bogota, Colombia. Shit, it could be any one of those places. The thing is, it could be the UK. I don't really. It could be the Arnold UK. Shit, I don't care. It's just the fact that that's the main thing as a pro. I want to by by the time I'm done, I want at least went did four um four shows out of the country so i already got one so at least three more i think that'll be decent a lot of people can't say that because a lot of guys say most guys that stay in the in the states they don't go nowhere they stay right here they don't they don't never even think about it i'm all about trying to reach out get further out I mean, it's a it's a it's a big big world, big small world. So, why not venture out and enjoy if you can? Especially if I ain't gotta pay for it. 
<laughs> oh shit. Hit the sponsors up. Hey, listen, I need, look, I need this right quick. I need you to, I need you to go ahead and slip, you know, PayPal me, you know, Zell. We out here. Throw in a couple protein shakes. Yeah, and yeah, throw in some protein shakes and something. You know, hey, your boy out here, ship me off. You know I'm good for winning. I'm good for it. You know, it's a good chance. It's a good chance. I'm gonna work. You know, I don't let I don't let you down that 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 much. So take care of that for your boy. That's I'm already I'm really asking this in advance. And oh, and the potential sponsors too. Yeah, that goes out for y'all too. The potential sponsors, cause I know you're watching. Yeah, do that for me. Do that for your boy. We go we go get this thing rolling. Yeah, go get this thing rolling. Real soon, we about to go abroad. Been eating this shit for like 30 minutes. And I'm just to the end. If this was beef, I'd eat even slower. Is that beef heavy? This bison not heavy like the uh, beef. Beef wear you down. How do you have so, like, how you have so confidence where it's like, yo, I'm gonna go to the show, I'm gonna win it, and you gonna win it? Cause when you work it, off you already know what it is like you put in so much work and detail and do this day in day out because you do what the one percent don't do or the 99 percent do you got to do you got to be the one percent so if you got 99 percent of people not doing one thing and you do it you already got to edge up and best believe until i started competing and stuff i really didn't know how lazy and inconsistent um, people are they kind of don't don't work that hard they want stuff given to them um then you got people that work hard but they miss little stuff and then you got people that don't miss that's me i don't like to lose so i can't miss i can't miss so when i go into a show i already know you know they they say oh you you know you gotta outwork people um that's right but yeah, that's pretty much it. You gotta outwork people. So I know if I pull up in a show, I've been I've been doing this. You're not about to do nothing with me. That's just what it is. And if you are, you gonna have a fight on your hand. You gonna have some shit to deal with. So either way it go, you know, that's how it is. So confidence, you know, when you ready and got yourself prepared, you go be confident. You know, the people that ain't confident, usually the ones that ain't prepared themselves. They ain't getting nothing prepared. And you find that out once you get on stage too, or whatever you do in life. You, if you do a test, if you take a test and don't study, when you get to that test, you like, oh, shit. <laughs> you don't know no answers. You looking around like I ain't prepared for this. But if you studied, you didn't master what you have to master for that test, and you get to that test, you like, come on, let's go. You ready to take that test? You got the, you got all the confidence in the world because you know you didn't been through it, you didn't been tested before and you know you didn't been tested time and time again and that's the thing and with me i've been in more than 10 pro shows so the type of confidence i got now getting on stage is different because that's experience you can't get only way you can get experience is if is by doing it so once you gain that experience in a certain area that's a that's a different confidence by itself so that's really what it is the experience and you know you know the the work the working hard and the discipline that's what that's what all that come down to and then when you win people looking like where this come from but they don't understand that it's like that iceberg effect they only see what's on top they don't never see what's underneath that iceberg that iceberg will look real small on top but underneath that water that thing could be huge and that's where all the hard work that's where all the discipline at that's where all the doubts at, because everybody doubts. That's where all the criticism at, because you know, all that IG criticism and shit. <laughs> that's where the discipline, the focus, that's where the drive, that's where all that stuff at. And then all that stuff builds up to the top. And next thing you know, hey, out comes the success. So a lot of people, they always see the success, but they don't never really see the work that takes. Only people that might see that is the people in your circle. That's it. So people just be wondering how oh this person then popped up nah and it rarely works that way rarely 
rarely ever works that way. They already been putting in work. You just haven't seen them until now. So let me get this box one right here. Brussels sprout head. Say hi, my name is Cameron Morris. <laughs> 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 this man, oh, you oh, he getting taller. Mm -hmm. This is Cameron. You want to say anything for the camera? Don't, uh, don't be shy. <laughs> How old are you again? Thirteen. I forgot. Damn, I got a thirteen-year-old. Hey, man, what you doing, man? You getting dressed or something? You getting dressed? Oh. He said, "Oh, this the try. This the problem right here." This the problem. This man ain't got tall. I'm 6'1". He taller than me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He taller. Wait, let me take my shoes. Let me take my shoes off. Hold up. I think he's taller than you. He taller? Yeah, he's taller than me. You sure? <laughs> nah, you guys are about the same height now. So I'm 6'1 and a quarter. So that mean <clears throat> he got to be 6'1". He ain't got no shoes on. So this... What's your name? You gonna say something for the camera? Oh. They shy and shit. Corey. What? Corey, my name is Corey. Oh, he he the other Corey. That's Junior. That's the Junior. <laughs> That's the Junior. Yeah, yeah. They being hiding and stuff. All right, but I'm about to go to this gym though. Y'all got them dishes? Don't act like you don't, you forgot. Yeah. All right. <laughs>